through the lectures that we have heard, we have been inspired, enlightened, and I hope that we have been encouraged. And so let me give the conclusion through the lectures that you have given us this time, we became knowledgeable. <laughs> we learned so many things. We have been reminded of many proven and scientific information. Another question, which is better, brothers and sisters, to be a person of knowledge or to be a person of wisdom? Alin ba ang mabuti? Yung marunong, yung maalam, o yung pantas? Which is better, to be a person of knowledge or a person of wisdom? Okay, you are correct. What is knowledge? What is wisdom? Knowledge is the accumulation of facts in our mind, in our brain. And I believe you have accumulated many information in our, from our lectures. But you see, wisdom is the application of it. <laughs> And you said a while ago that to be a person of wisdom is better than to be a person of knowledge. If it is, now let me ask another question, and this is a personal question. Being reminded of the definition and the difference between knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is the accumulation of facts and data and, and figures, while wisdom is the application of the learnings that you have got that you have gained from this lecture. How many of us here today? would like to be a person of wisdom? That is the question. How many of us he would like to be a person of wisdom as far as health, healing, and longevity is concerned? May I see your hands, please? Thank you very much. And let me tell you as I end, Jesus understand the situation of his disciples. Remember in the Garden of Gethsemane, they were tired and uh, they could not stand anymore. The tiredness that they experienced. And so Jesus Christ said to them, Will you please pray with me? But we know the story. They, they, were, they were sleeping instead of praying. And Jesus Christ understands. And he said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I assume that there is willingness in everyone's heart to live healthy, to experience health and healing. There is a desire for every one of us to live long, longevity. And we have heard and learned a lot. But the question is, how am I going to apply these things. Jesus Christ said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And to the disciples, he gave the solution. He said, pray. Pray. If it is your desire to be a wisdom, a person of wisdom, 
far and more than a person of knowledge. Jesus understands. He understands that we need the power from above. Would you like to stand with me in as much that you have made the decision to be a person of wisdom and not only a person of knowledge? Let us pray. Dear God, our loving Father, we praise you and we thank you for the ministry of Pastor and Mrs. Brackett. They reminded us that this body temple does not belong to us. Our body belongs to Jesus because he has brought us with a price through his blood so that we can through our faith in Jesus, we can have the assurance of eternal life. But your instruction from the Bible, from the book of 1 Corinthians, very clear that we should and that we could give glory to you through this body that you have given to us. And we thank you that we have been enlightened. We have been informed. Many of us have been inspired. But Lord, this afternoon we recognize without your help, without the power from above, we will not be able to apply the things that we have learned. And so this afternoon as we commit ourselves to a life of wisdom applying the knowledge that we have heard so that through your grace and your loving kindness to us, we are going to experience health, healing, and longevity. Oh, Lord of God, bless your people standing before you this afternoon. We need the empowerment of your Holy Spirit so that your will and purpose in our lives will be done. We'll be able to live a healthy life. We'll experience healing. We will experience long life, giving honor and glory to you. And that, after blessing us, we will become indeed a blessing to many people, our family members, to the community, and to the society, for because of this purpose, you have called us and you have saved us. Thank you very much, O Lord, for accepting our commitment, for the assurance that you are going to fulfill your promise, that you're going to empower your Holy Spirit so that we can give honor and glory to your holy name, expanding and extending your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. God bless us all. For, for our closing song, let's all stand and sing our theme song, The Great Physician.
Dear God, we are in agreement with what is written by your servant John in Trajan verse 2. When he said, Beloved, I wish you that you prosper in all things and be in health, that your innermost being prospers, and that we should walk in truth. Thank you so much for the enlightenment, for the wonderful insights and ideas that we have received this Sabbath day. Thank you, Lord, for the wisdom that you are giving us. May you help each and every one of us that we may be able to apply those principles that we have learned. And our brethren, as we depart from this place, may the presence, the power, the guidance, the holiness, righteousness, mercy, and grace of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be upon you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.